What's up, Loop community? My name's Edge. I'm a Logic Pro certified trainer. And in this session, we're going to set up Looptimus to control playback inside of main stage. We're picking up where we left off in our main stage series, where we've imported playback tracks into main stage. We've set up a screen control layout for us to control playback. And now we just need to map what's in the computer onto our hardware. So I've got my basic layout here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna map each of these buttons to specific playback commands that I'm gonna be using often. So this top section, we'll say I'll use these to, to call up specific song sections, like a verse, a chorus, and a bridge. So I'll click on the button. I'll head over to the first track in my screen control inspector down here at the bottom. It's currently unmapped. And if I click on the first track, head over to playback, head over to transport, you can see one of the options here is to go to marker. And when I select that, I can choose what marker I actually want to work with by just clicking and dragging this little slider here and choosing which one I want. So I'm going to select verse. I can use the up and down arrows too, by the way, to, to select what I want. And so this first one will, will always be a verse. And it's a good idea for your range max min to match to the same thing. So in this one, we'll also select it to be verse. And you might need to use these arrows to be more specific. Great. And then we'll just go down the list and do it for the other parts of the songs as well. So the second button, that's going to be my chorus. So I'll click on this. I'll say playback. I'll say transport. Go to marker. And we'll use this to go to a chorus. Same for this bottom one, too. Great. And then the last one, that'll be a bridge. So again, I'll select that. I'll go to playback, transport, go to marker, and we'll just find a bridge here from the build bridge. Because if I'm in a spontaneous moment, I'm probably going to want to go from the build bridge in this particular song. It could, it could be the, the down bridge as well, but in this case, I'm going to make it the build bridge. Great. So at this point, I selected all of these buttons to be mapped to specific song sections. So we'll try that out. If I press play, intro two, three, four, that'll start the song. And we'll just head to the bridge, bridge. Chorus. And I can just head to the verse as well. In verse two, three, four. Great. So I can call up different sections of the song if I want while we're playing them. So these bottom buttons are going to be assigned to some common transport controls. Say you're playing a track and somehow you've got a drummer that goes off the rails or for whatever reason the band and the vocals are not in sync, you're going to need to cut this track. And, and rather than making a quick, harsh cut, Maybe a fade out will be the way that we'll go about doing that. So that's what I'm going to do with this button here. I'll click on it. I'll choose the first track again. I'll go to my playback controls, transport. And you can see that one of the options is stop with fade out. And so when we press play Intro, two, three, and we want to four. fade that song out, I'll just press the button that I just assigned to the fade out button and it'll fade out nice and easy. So there's some other things that we can do. So if we wanted to make this uh, center button at the bottom row, maybe the cycle button, maybe we wanted to repeat a section, we could either turn this into a cycle button or we can turn this into a previous section button. Kind of depends on, on what works best for you when you're controlling main stage with Optimus. If we want to map our screen controls, um, one way is to use the screen inspector, but there's a different way that you can do it as well. So if you click on a button, and you select map parameter, this is going to give us the option to map that parameter to a plugin. So for example, if I open up the playback window here, I can choose that button to be this button, the next marker button. And when I do that, you can see that my button has now been mapped to go to next parameter. If I want to use this button, uh, that could either be my cycle button or it can be my previous parameter probably makes sense to do the cycle button since I might be on this section a few different times in worship. Sometimes you might have a worship leader that's really feeling a particular section or sometimes you might feel like it's just right to just hang out on a particular section uh, for an indefinite amount of time. So the cycle button might be the button you want to use for that. So I'll click that and you can see now it's mapped that button to cycle. 
Great. Uh, it's important to make sure you click on map parameter again to turn off the map parameter mode. So those are the basics of mapping Looptimus's all access mode to screen controls in main stage.